So better.com is in the news again and for a bad reason. Now, if you're wondering why does that name sound familiar? Well, it's because it is. This is a company that right before Christmas, they laid off 900 employees over a Zoom meeting. Now you might recall the CEO being very sorry, deeply sorry, going off and disappearing for like a month and saying it was a huge learning lesson um, and being incredibly apologetic. Well, they are in the news again for another terrible reason. Now recently they told media outlets on Tuesday that they're gonna be laying off another 3,000 of their 9,000 employees. Now that in of itself isn't something to necessarily draw criticism. Companies lay people off every day, but it was the way the employees found out that they were being laid off. So how did this happen? You were probably asking yourself, well, many employees are saying that they received a notification via the Workday app that they were getting a severance check from HR before they were even given notice that they were going to be laid off. So imagine you're sitting there, you're working, you're doing your job, and all of a sudden a deposit hits your bank account and there is a check and it's a severance check. And that is how you learn that you are losing your job. Now employees are saying no call, no email, no nothing. They are just being given the notice when they receive the severance check that they no longer have a job. This is another huge debacle for a company that can ill afford another public relations black eye. In 2022, employees have a choice of who they're gonna work for. People are taking their time, they're realizing that more companies are remote, that they have more options than ever before. And better.com is probably going to find themselves in a place where it is really hard to find people because they are having mishap after mishap when it comes to the way they treat their employees, the way they callously let their employees go, and media gaff after media gaff. This is just one more reason why it absolutely makes sense for you to do the research and learn about a company before you decide to accept that offer. Go to Glassdoor, read the reviews, see what employees are saying, Google them. That way you can avoid working for a company like better.com. They need to do better.